y'all okay let's get some order in here like let's get a little bit of order first and foremost okay let me <laughs> okay <laughs> what's going on youtube it is your girl lauren finesse and we are back y'all already know y'all already see the title so you already know why we're here um i just had a whole thing in here y'all like between my uh phone rest i don't know what's going on with it the arm piece broke so i'm in here trying to like maneuver and finagle it on top of that y'all can see the sun the sun is real in arizona y'all the sun is real <laughs> so water sort of blink so is the blink um but y'all it's hot air so let's just get into it um of course before we get started quick house cleaning items y'all i wanted to do shout out to everybody who gave me the click interview uh for my mermaid braids i do want to do it over again um but this weekend just wasn't gonna do it y'all remember i told y'all in my last video that you know it's been difficult trying to like stay up on my fitness journey so this week this past week i was going hard harder than ever y'all like every day in the gym pushing myself pushing myself pushing myself self staying on top of my diet like really just putting in the work because one thing about it at the end of the night the night gotta end <laughs> okay I, I cannot like let myself just completely go so yeah i gotta get these pounds up off of me i just gotta get them off so um i didn't feel like doing individual braids i did a quick french braid style and that was it and it's a bun i haven't even been wearing it down this is just something i did to put in a bun and it's super cute it'll get me through this week and then next week i will definitely be looking at the mermaid braids um again i'm gonna do some individuals with this blonde hair it's gonna be fabulous <laughs> it's gonna be fabulous but that ain't why y'all here let's go ahead and get into it y'all because it's hot i got the air on but the sun is like really bothering me and I don't feel like moving my car. That's the crazy part. I don't feel like moving my car. So, anyway. So, Love and Maritonsville, season eight, episode, I think, four. Well, episode four. Um, waiting to ex-wife. Okay, so the show starts off where it left off. With Destiny, whack-ass, sitting with Moses. Trying to give it to him, but like she was but also he started coming for her finances and i was like girl this man really just came for you <laughs> i was like okay you might not want to you might not want to go so hard on moses because he knows where the bodies are buried baby it sounds like he knows where the bodies are buried um and also if y'all didn't see my review last week i stand by the fact that destiny talking about pulling up text messages in her phone where um where moses was telling her he loved her where he was sending her good morning text listen a man sending you good morning text every day and telling you he loved you every day via text for eight months or what's from april to august what's that um six months ish four months hold on april may june july oh yeah four months child it's the heat don't it's the heat a man texts you for four months good morning and i love you if you were not seeing that man if y'all were not intimate if y'all were not going on dates it don't even sound like y'all were on facetime together destiny so it's like i cannot give you any type of credit for how you were reading him it's like i can't even give you that because so what he was texting you and he called her bluff he was like he was like okay she was like you know i got the messages he was like okay show him like he wasn't scared at all and i think that's because girl listen it don't mean you're in a relationship bottom line like it's no need to go any deeper so she did get him though i ain't gonna lie destiny did get him a little bit when she was like you know 
you were supposed to be that man for me because he basically, like I said, he came for her finances and was basically like, girl, I was paying, I was helping you pay to fly you out when you was coming to see me. You didn't come see me for my birthday. And then you got to do all this work. You not showing me attention. It's like, I'm helping you with what I can, but it's like, damn, you need a lot of help. And I ain't gonna lie, like, all these people coming out talking about how, my God, the sun is moving. All these people coming out talking about how they sent Destiny money, Mel, Martell ain't said it, but I'm sure she got money out of Martell, Moses, and Sonny. Girl, everybody in Huntsville talking about they wrote you a check. And then you 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 writing checks and forging checks. Destiny, Destiny write a check, whatever her last name is. Please, ma'am. So even though she was getting it, she should have been, she was like, you know, but you said you were gonna take care of me. You said you was gonna be my man. You didn't you weren't being the man I needed you to be. I hear that, Destiny, but like I said, in the end, if you were only text messaging this man for four months, it's no way you thought that was your man. It's just no way. It's no way. And you like to play dumb and you like to live in a gray area, like I said, so. It's just I can't give Destiny Bell. I just can't give her, like, she's not that girl. She's talking about, did you forget I'm her? Girl, her who? Who, Destiny? Who is her? Because you are not her. You you are not her. You are far from her. Here's her, and you're, like, way over there somewhere. You are not her. Um. Anyway, she tells him he's dismissed. He's like, okay, I, I'm leaving. So then we get another scene, and I'm going to jump around because I don't remember scene by scene. So I'm going to just jump around to what I remember. So then we get a scene with Tisha and Trisha. If y'all recall, um, Trisha was, you know, telling Stormy last week how she was going to train Tisha. Tisha wants her to train her. Apparently, Trisha also trains Destiny. You know, her and her man, Ken, they're in the gym. So that's their vibe. That's their zhuzh. So, um, they're talking and they get a good workout in and I ain't gonna lie, you know, Tisha, so far this season, I'm liking Tisha. I didn't like the fakeness that she pulled telling Mel she didn't come cause she didn't get the invite personally, which was valid, but she didn't say that in front of Destiny. So I didn't like that, but I liked that she wasn't being messy and telling Destiny in that moment at, um, at Kimmy's office about what Mel said um, about her possibly getting on with Martell. So I was happy she was being reserved. And in this instance, you know, she she kind of put a little mess out there, but she's like, not being messy. She just being like cute Tisha. Now next week, I, it looked like she gonna get wild. I'm also here for wild Tisha. I'm also here for Wanda daughter Tisha, okay? It, it, Tisha, that's the Tisha we want. Not Mar not Marceau's wife, Tisha. No, 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 no. We don't want Marceau's wife, Tisha. We want Wanda daughter, Tisha. Y'all know what I'm saying? We, we want that. I, I do. Anyway, um, <laughs> not too much though. But yeah, I prefer Wanda's daughter over Marceau's wife. So anyway, um, she gets to asking her, like, you know, you're from Huntsville. Who do you know? She's like, oh, I went to school with... Uh, Montez, who was Martel's brother. Um, I went to school with Courtney. Stormy used to do my hair. That's my girl. I trained Destiny. I know Martel. And she's like, oh, okay, you know everybody. She was like, I heard that Martel was the good brother and Montez was the bad brother. And she was like, who? And she was like, oh, maybe when he got to college, but no, Martel was not the good brother. Um, and so she's telling her, like, yeah, I know Stormy. And she's like, oh, okay. She's the go teacher. Oh, I got to get another trainer. Now, she was just joking. But she threw a little, you know, she threw a little something out there. Um, and she's like, listen, I want to get to know you on my own. I'm not going to go off what somebody told me, what somebody said. I'm going to get to know you on my own. And that's that and that's final. So she was like, okay, cool. You seem like a cool chick, blah, blah, blah. Um, also, she's related to Nell some kind of way. Now, Trisha, I didn't know why you got spicy with the nail. Like, because she was saying like, oh, do you know nail? She's like, yeah, she's like related to my mama and them. And basically she was calling nail old. Now, listen, Trisha, I'm guessing Trisha's in her 40s. Nail is 
I think coming up on 60. Okay, that is a 20 year gap. So, okay, you can say that. But when Tisha was like, you know, they'll be checking people. And, and Trisha was like, huh, not me. It was like, mm, what was that, Trisha? What was that? Because that was a little spicy for no reason. It was very much, you know, it made me scratch my head. Like, okay, I'm going to keep my eye on you and Nell. Because you just said that that was basically your family. That's your mom's family. So, in turn, that's your family. And you threw a shot. Out of all the people she named, you threw a shot at your family? I ain't like it. Um, so, anyway, that's that. So, then we also get a scene with... Um, Let's get Mel out the way. Because this scene with Mel and her girlfriend, the party was cute. I ain't gonna lie. The party was cute. She had, everybody had their pink robes. Um, it was a girl's night. They had nice little um, finger foods. The, she had pictures hanging from, like hanging from the um, ceiling with like pictures of them and their names. Super cute. Uh, one of the girls was like, uh-uh, Mel, you, you like my man. He, ain't no man even never did this for me. So, that was funny. But, of course, they got to sit down and talk. Uh, Mel gets to talking about how her philanthropy is gone from just in Huntsville in the U.S. to Africa. She's planning on doing some um, volunteer work out in Africa for a cause. So, that's, that's cool. We love that. And they're like, well, maybe you can meet a man. And then all her friends are basically like, well, the one friend with the blonde hair, I forgot her name, Shanita, Sharita, whatever. She was saying, like, you know, every man I didn't try to hook you up with, you find a problem with him. Either he's African, and the girl was like, what's wrong with that? I think it was the girl, Lauren. Shout out to Lauren. <laughs> I think it was the girl, Lauren, but she was like, African, what's wrong with that? She's like, no, no, because it's, it's too far. Like, oh, okay. One guy was missing a side tooth. Um, one guy's pants was too tight. And my thing is, I'm I'm with Mel on this one. I just came from, and I'm still going through, a div I'm still going through the fallout from my divorce with my unhinged ex-husband. And baby, Mel said unhinged, and I said, ain't that the same word that I used for Martell last week? And it is. That's exactly the word. Martell is unhinged. Oh, I think the sun is going down finally. Good. Martel is unhinged. That's exactly the word that I was using. He's unhinged. So, I feel her. She's like, do y'all recall we were divorced and that man showed up on one of my dates at a restaurant recording us? Um, so, she's weary about dating again. And, quite frankly, she, she should be. And she should be picky. She should be picky. I know that there are men in the metaverse who will tell you, Oh, you're a divorcee with four kids. Girl, you better take what you can get. But Mel is a successful woman. She looks amazing. There's no reason why she needs to, to settle. Um, she's still in her prime. Okay? Like, I doubt that she will have any more kids. But at this point in her life, I don't think she needs to settle to find a man or mate that she'll be with for the rest of her life. She needs to absolutely vet them A to Z before she tries to move on with someone. So stop trying to push a man on her and let her continue her healing because yeah, I'd be picking it apart too. Um, I've actually been single, oh my gosh, for three years now. Oh my God, oh my God. This month, June will make three years. Oh my gosh. Um, and I don't... <sighs> I don't even know if I'm ready today, y'all. I met a man at the grocery store yesterday. He approached me. I had my gym gear on, right? So, halter, top, and, you know, fitted, like, you know, a two-piece. And I was in the freezer section, and he approached me. And I thought it was cute, like, oh, okay, like a man actually approaching me at the grocery store. I don't know that that has ever happened to me. So, I was like, okay, this is cute. Not really my type, so I took his number. I don't plan on calling him, but I like that I'm like getting back out there for things like that to happen. I'm, I'm clearly putting out a vibe, a welcoming vibe, right? So if you see me out, you can approach me. I'll be nice, I'll smile, it's, you know. Anyway, I love that for me. But shout out to Mel. Mel needs to definitely vet because 
when you get out of a long-term relationship out of a serious relationship you need that time to like bounce back and i think they've been divorced for two years and martel been crazy for at least five so give her time um we also see a scene with what did we see a scene with we saw a scene with stormy trisha and martel now when i first saw this scene i was like why I'm like, what is Stormy doing? I was like, is Stormy being messy? Because why does she have Trisha there and bring Martell in? And then pretend like she didn't know that Trisha knew Martell. Which, by the way, I feel like Stormy did know that Trisha knew Martell. But she was acting like, y'all don't know each other. She was playing it off because she didn't want Trisha to look bad. And I thought it was messy. And then when she said Courtney was in the back with the baby I was like so why is Martell here so then she explains that she's having a lovers and friends um gala and she wants Martell to be there with his shirt off because quite honestly that's all Martell is good for Martell is only good to be at the function with his shirt off it is what it is so um so he comes in and Martell comes into Stormy's house and he introduces him himself and says hi to Trisha like hi I'm Martell now trisha is awkward af and i think a big part of that is one martel was playing in her face and two you know she's new to being on camera and being on tv that whole scene was super hella hella awkward and martel made it awkward martel is similar to destiny that's why they're friends he also liked playing in people face in the gray area so after he introduces himself trisha's like She's got her back to Martell. Sort of like the back of her side of, of her arm to Martell. And she's just like making faces. And so Stormy is like facing both of them. And she's like, why is this so awkward? Like, why are y'all being awkward? And don't, she was like, y'all know each other? Don't y'all know each other? And she was like, yeah, I know Martell. He's like, you know me? She's like, yeah. He, she was like, yeah, I went to school with your brother, Montez. You know my brother? Martell, stop playing in that lady face. Martell is so fucking annoying, y'all. Why are you playing in that lady face? And then, so they get to talking and he's like, yeah, Montez is back in jail. I hated to hear that. I hated to hear that because when he was on the season, was that last season or the season before, when he was talking to Mel and him and Mel started crying, like that was such a real scene. Like you could tell like that, that, that was her brother. You know what I mean? Like you could tell and it's like the family is all messed up um i, I love that scene uh, last season season before with montez so at that point in time he was supposed to have been getting his life back on track so to hear that he has gone back to jail is that's sad so you know they were talking and and Trish was like man that's sad to hear whatever and so then it got quiet again and stormy was like what the fuck is going on like why are y'all acting like this and martel's like oh right 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 yeah we do know each other like and she was like, yeah, you know, we know each other about after whatever her daughter's name is. She was like, yeah, about right before such and such was born or maybe after a little after such and such was born. Now, I thought that her daughter, I don't know how old her daughter is. They show pictures. Her daughter, I know Ken's daughter is 13, but how old is her daughter? Is her daughter like 14, 15 or... May, oh, let me just say her daughter is like maybe let's say her daughter's also 13 so 13 years ago him and Mel was definitely together um, I'm wondering if Trisha and Martell did they screw around while him and Mel was together is anybody else picking up on that maybe Trisha and Martell messed around while he was with Mel because it's kind of given that it's kind of given that and Martell was like, oh, wait, don't, you know, because then they're going to be trying to say that we fucked. And it's like, whoa, like, <laughs> Martell, that was a big jump from, I don't know you, you look different to, they're going to be trying to say that we messed around. Like, who said that? Okay, Q Portia, who said that? Who said that? Who said that, Martell? You said that because you like chaos and confusion and you wanted to sow some confusion because you know the story gonna make us round. So I'm not falling for the, the, the nonsense, Martell. 
so anyway that's that they're both gonna be in um stormy's lovers and friends gala event okay cool so then we get a scene with moses and sunny okay i stand by that and and sunny said it sunny was just doing her job she's like it was my job to know destiny's business i poured into her i checked up on her to make her feel comfortable i was a shoulder for her to lean on but i was just doing my job as her producer we were not friends she can't tell you my last name my middle name she can't tell you nothing important in my life so it was it was always one-sided and that's the same thing kimmy said kimmy said i just think sunny was doing a good job i also get that vibe and i stand by that destiny is delusional and she's whack destiny is whack and again she loves being in the gray area in her relationships and living in that delusion remember laveric her husband left her like right after she had the baby then Mo then right after that you got with moses and let them tell it baby sonny was going in sonny was like first of all you had just got divorced and you jumped into a relationship with moses you the one need to heal because destiny had told moses that he just looked good but he got issues <laughs> and listen by no means is moses and sonny by no means are they like angels they definitely were being sneaky i'm gonna give it that they definitely were being sneaky and they waited till the last minute to try to communicate it to destiny however who are we to put a time limit on when you're supposed to disclose your personal business to somebody who are we to say oh you should have told me when it first happened or oh you should have told me the next day or you should have told me you know what i mean like that's still their business and they are husband and wife now so we can't you know not too much not too much on them because it is what it is right um oh no no so then we got a scene the last scene was with trisha and ken they were having dinner and trisha was telling ken how martell walked up on her at, at stormy's house and basically was acting like he didn't know her and ken was like wait a minute why he acting like he didn't know you we went to his um his photo shoot launch or something and he was like you actually know him i just know him from other people but you know him like why he treating you like you was one of his creeps and the music shifted a little bit the music shifted and trisha was playing with her food like mm. so trisha did you not tell your man that you fucked martell because it's given you slept with martell and you ain't tell your man and now your man is is prepared to confront martell and ask him why he was acting like he didn't know you and martell is definitely the type that will throw you under the bus and be like oh yeah me and her just smashed you know we just smashed like i could see martell doing that so trisha you in danger girl you better you better confess to your man what's going on because it sounds like it's something that was going on and your man don't know and you got your man looking crazy on tv and I don't like that because Ken seems like such a good guy. And then they also talk about marriage. And then this part confused me. So we already know Trisha is not um, officially divorced. They've been together two years, her and Ken. And he's like, you know, what is going on with the divorce? Why are you so... Um, what is this? Why are you so... Um, like, what's dragging? What's dragging along? Like... um. And I don't know. I don't know. She don't know. The husband don't know. But she's like, you know, I'm scared. Like, thinking about marriage is scary. And I'm like, Trisha, you were the same person that in the other episode, you were basically telling Ken he needs to hurry up and pop the question. But why are you in a rush one minute for him to pop the question where your ring, we need to set a date. You not even divorced yet. And now you're scared and you're feeling uneasy about it. Like, girl, Trisha with the frog in her throat girl make up your mind but once you make up your mind 
please tell your man about you and Martell because I, I really don't like that. I really don't like that you got Ken out here looking crazy because he looking crazy. I ain't going to lie to you. He looking crazy. Um, I think that was it, y'all. Yeah, that was it. Another good episode. They're giving us they're giving us what we need this year is building and i like that it's building so anyway that's it for this week um let me know how you guys like the review let me know what you think do you think trisha is foul for not telling martel for not telling ken about martel how do you feel about tisha this year like are y'all feeling um wanda's daughter or do y'all want more marcel's wife let me know um, and then please go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know that you stopped by. And I will see you guys. I think I'll see you guys. I don't know. But I do want to do a product haul. So that'll probably, probably be our next video. But I do want to go and get some more stuff for the product haul. I just don't know how that's going to work out. But I think that'll be the next video. I'll do that in a couple of days. And then we'll be back here next week to do uh, Love and Marriage Huntsville Season 8 Episode 5. Where it's going to get crazy. And with that, I'm gone, y'all. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.